Okay, so what I'm doing here is uh, I've got an old 19, uh, older uh, 1999 year 2000 uh, FICT 175 model. And I've been having some issues uh, with the ECU. Uh, so I purchased a used one off eBay. Now, of course, if you know anything about these motors, you can't just transfer the ECUs because the injectors are uh, linked to them in terms of their flow data and everything that's in the computer. So the old information from the, EC the old ECU needs to be input into the replacement ECU for the injector profiles. Now, I was able to ha pick up an old read file, a PDF from the old ECU, that had the injector coefficients on it. Um, but I can no longer read that ECU. There's some internal memory issues, and uh, so I don't have access to just transfer that data over. So I found a workaround, um, and the new version of software will not let you um, direct entry um, injector changes. You need this injector file. Um, so what I've been able to do is I set it up to, uh, i got to see if I can figure this out, but in your settings somewhere on your, on your diagnostic software, there's a, an option to use a scan gun. Now, I do not have a scan gun, but typically scan guns, all they do is it's basically like a keyboard interface. So what I did is using my, here's the PDF file. You see you've got your uh, old injector information on here. What I'm able to do is I created just a notepad file um, and I put them in this format. So um, I don't know if you can see this, but now keep in mind this is the older 99-2000 PDS style uh, injector, so yours may be different depending on the year, but basically you can see how I formatted my files. Serial number at the end. Um, and here's where it came from. Okay, so that's the format. They're just comma separated, simple text file, okay, and notepad. So what I'm able to do is if I copy this line from what I've made, I go back into here. So injector number two, this is the one I want to replace. Now you can see I can't directly do that. But what I can do is I can go down to the replace fuel injector. Do you wish to use the scanner? Yes. Now, control V, paste. There it is. And what it'll do, you have to do it twice. I guess it's just checking to make sure it's scanned the same thing. So you can paste that data in twice. And then install the scan data. And you'll see the information is now input in there accordingly. And that's basically how you can do it. So I'm able to transfer the scanned uh, uh, injector data over. Now please note that my ECU will now no longer match the uh, uh, serial number of the motor. Like it's, it's going to call up wrong information in terms of it came off an extra long shaft, mine is a long shaft. Um, the, you know, the hours will be wrong. So it's not really 100% accurate, but in terms of function, in terms of running, it's perfectly fine. I'm going to go back and just compare my ignition timing as well after to make sure all those settings are the same and I should be fine. Anyways, I hope that helps uh, somebody out trying to uh, do this on one of those motors. Bye.